Yeah. Uh, you played two years ago against Milwaukee here. Oh, yeah. Kind of the roles are reverse. What yeah. do you remember about that game? What do you remember about? I try to remember nothing about that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we played a good, whatever it was, uh, 35 minutes of that game. And then, Crazy. Um, yeah, that ending was something I want to just forget completely. But <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's fine. I'm just joking. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so we got a chance this year to do to go in there now and you can get a win. So I, I think it's a, a fun opportunity for us to just go on the road and try yeah. to get a win. Yeah. Do you think, um, like, your seat is seventh, Milwaukee that year was seated eighth. I'm wondering if, if there's less pressure on the, you know, the seventh or the eighth seed and you can play looser? Yeah. Or what do you think? Yeah, it definitely is. I think that's kind of yeah. what we had said as well in, in the locker room. I think that's just kind of how the pressure works. Uh, so. Essentially, we have nothing to lose going in there, so we're just going to go on and play freely and play, you know, how we do, and yeah. leave it up to how it ends. Nice to see some shots go down. I yeah, know, yeah, you, you did good. First minute, almost, you had two threes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, felt good to see a couple of threes on early. It's good. Yeah, good. Good game, Brandon. Another good one. Uh, you work the boards, and that's a high priority for you. Absolutely. It's just something I think is an effort play that I can uh, do regardless of how well I'm shooting. So I just uh, come out every game and uh, that's my that's my main focus uh, and, and scoring is secondary to me at that point. Your first uh, Horizon League tournament game, did you feel, did it feel any different? Did it, was there, you know, more energy or anything like that? Uh, a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, it's kind of one of those things like where I know if we lose the game, we're done. So yeah. I think that plays a little factor into it, but, you know, for the most part, it just felt like, uh, you know, a regular game with, a, you know, a little more stakes on the line, but, you know. I'd, I'd call it a regular game at that point. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Anybody else have anything? I got a question. So you guys, you know, Green Bay didn't have a single turnover in that first half. And then in the second half, they ended up having a total of 12. Uh, so what do you guys think you did defensively, changed up at halftime, that um, maybe a mindset, maybe a game plan that helped you guys change that up there and put some more pressure on it? You know, one of the things that we kind of noticed when the game started is we're lacking a little bit of energy. So I feel like in the second half, <clears throat> our uh, adjustment was uh, less X's and O's and more of a, uh, you know, an energy thing, effort thing, and something that we can, uh, um, you know, bring up the pressure a little bit and that helps us get some of those turnovers. It's kind of a weird thing, you know, you swept a lot of teams. Some teams swept you this year. Um, maybe your matchup with Milwaukee, what do you like about that? What, what do you expect when you go up there? Well, we know how their style of play. Um, you know, they were trying to, to force us into some stuff too, 20 turnovers, and, and that's just how they were playing. And, uh, especially the, the start of the first couple games, we kind of got what we want up, up there on the offensive end, and then here, same thing, and then they kind of creeped back into the things later in the game. So we just got to go in and put a collective 40 minutes together and play a complete game. We can't just go in there in the first 20 minutes and then rest the second 20. We got to yeah. play confident and do what we do. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, it doesn't really matter that we beat them twice in the season. I mean, they finished second in the league for a reason. That's a, that's a really good team. We're about to go up in there and play um, at their place. They're going to have a lot of energy, their first tournament game this year. And, uh, I mean, they're definitely going to be ready. But, you know, I think that's something we have to, to combat and even be ready ourselves when we go up there. Coach, just a couple of opening first thoughts. And then... um... You know, I think I think they did what they had to do was was kind of just slow the game down, take the air out of the ball because it it you know it, it took just all the energy out of the crowd and um, you know it's just not an easy way to play. I, I like our guys, you know, not a lot of energy at halftime, and I told them, I mean, the the, the possessions were thirty, they had twenty seven points. We had I think we had thirty three uh, or thirty. What did we have thirty five? Was it thirty five? Yeah, so so we had them under one point per possession. We were over one point, so we were doing everything we wanted to do. It just didn't feel good because we're used to just flowing and playing faster, and uh, you know, and it, it was just a very slow game. And and you know that's hard for our players. Our players want to play faster. Since we've got it in the forefront of your mind, uh, what were you noticing on the turnovers? Just, you know, we're picking up our dribble where we shouldn't have picked it up, should have kept our dribble, going to, going to back downs. Uh, you know, I felt Tim, Tim was just a little sped up, tried, told him to slow down a little bit. But, you know, I thought he thought he played awfully good, and I still had seven assists on top of that. So, uh, But it was nice to see him knock some threes down. Uh, you know, that, that's a big plus for us. He started off the game, and, 
uh, you know, Brandon obviously had a big game, and uh, you know we we were disappointed. He he wasn't he wasn't at least third team all league. I think with his stats, uh, you know he he deserved a shot at that. But but you know maybe he wanted to show people. I don't know. Uh, I thought Trey just played within himself. Didn't force anything, which is great. You know I think when all that stuff comes out and. You know, everybody expects you to do something great every night. We didn't need him to do that tonight. Took good care of the ball, three assists, 14 points. Uh, but, you know, just happy with the way that he played. Thought our defense was good. You know, our defense, where we hold him to 36, is that 36%? So, and I know we had him under one point per possession. First game, you know, first game in the tournaments are always the hardest ones. It just is, you know, and that there, I think there is some advantage to being able to play and win uh, and, and go play somebody that's been sitting. So, Coach, yeah. you guys uh, were dominant in the paint. You out rebounded them uh, 42 to 20. Uh, could you just speak to game well, plan in the paint, uh, that, that focus? I mean, we always throw it in. We, we probably. Uh, you know, I, I would guess in league throw the ball in more than anybody. That's why they started big. That you know, we we were expecting them to start a different way. They started their both their big kids, and uh, you know, we we actually started small. But but uh, you know, their their game plan early. You know, they zoned and really packed it in, made it hard for us to throw the ball in. Fortunately, we went. I think we were six for twelve uh, to start in, in the first half. From three, we shot the ball well. I think that's what saved us. But we, we throw it in a lot. Now, we, uh, the one thing we have not been doing is rebounding. We've been a, a very poor rebounding team. Uh, and it's been, you know, uh, it's been talked about a lot this week in, in terms of how we've been getting beat up on the glass. And so it, it's nice to see us get some offensive rebounds. We haven't been a great offensive rebounding team. We've been, in, in the past three or four games, we've been a terrible defensive rebounding team. And, and we did better on both of those tonight. I was going to say to the rebounding point, those two offensive rebounds by Brock happened. That was that one possession where he just kept yeah. getting his hand Yeah, it was in one possession, I know. But that was it. No. Well, they, you know, uh, I mean, Brandon was on point tonight. I mean, he, you know, he when he goes and gets it like that, it's hard for anybody else to get it. Scott, what do you expect from Milwaukee? They, they kind of want to speed you up oh, and yeah, turn you lot, over. Lots of pressure. I mean, you know, this, like, it'll be, it'll be way different than this yeah. game. It'll be up and down and uh, they play fast. We play fast. Uh, lots of pressure. We, you know, we've turned the ball over both games. We played them a lot. Uh, I mean, it's honestly amazing that we can beat them and turn the ball over that much. And, you know, that, that's got to be a key for us that we take better care of the ball because we didn't, we didn't tonight. We didn't take very good care of the ball. And, you know, it's going to be an important one that, that we do that. Phoenix any to the lower seeds, you know, seven, eight, being able to relax a little bit where the twos or the ones might get a little tighter? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I think I think everybody understands, you know, that that particularly when we get to these final eight, I mean that that, that anybody could could win it. I mean it is a tight league this year. Everybody understands that. Um, you know, we there, there's all, it just is, I, I, but I think we can relax. I think getting the first game out of the way helps. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I don't, I, I don't sense that Milwaukee will play tight, and you know, they're they're, they're certainly going to be highly motivated because because we beat them twice, and, and uh, so they'll be turned up for that, and and so we're going to have to be ready. I think we're also playing on campus, which you know may. may is that different thing? Oh yeah, it's smaller, it's tighter. You okay. Know, it may, may be a better atmosphere for them. And Looking at when uh, Green Bay switched from that man event to that one through one zone, and it seems like Tim immediately knew to get that ball into the brain and able to kind of dissect that. Is that something from a coaching standpoint that you expect your players to be able to realize what's going on? And yeah, we that? well, mo most people when they see zone just start chucking it, yeah. you know, and we start throwing it in more. That's that's what we try to do is throw the ball in uh, one three one. Generally, you're gonna have somebody smaller underneath the basket that's going corner to corner, and so we, we just tell our big guy to get get your body on that kid and post him. And and if if you can catch the ball in the middle of the floor, you know. If, there, there's, they don't have a guard that can guard our big guys, and so that's what we want to do: is throw it in. This might be uh, 
one of my dumber questions of the season was, that's saying something. Um, we brought it up the other day about how many sweeps there were for you guys this year, and only two. One way or the other, yeah. Yeah, only two splits. Yeah. Is there anything to the, all those sweeps either way, like matchups or anything? I, mean, I, I, I think that, that there is some of that, that matchups, you know, for some teams are better than they are for others, and uh, some of that stuff is hard to explain, but, um, you know, there, there, there probably is some something for that. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Sure. You know, you know, I know. 